Hi everybody, I'm Jesse Smith, and today I will be doing a podcast on how to animate. I will be using a program called Maya. I will also be using a rig, which is a flower sack that I created myself for this animation. What is animation? Well, it is an illusion of movement, a state of being full of life. At least that's what the definition is. I will take three steps to complete this project. First step will be getting a reference. My source is Alexander Williams and he created a little exercise for the flower sack that I will be using, which shows a flower sack jumping off a cube and landing or face planting onto the ground and bouncing a couple of times and then coming to a complete stop. The next step will be called blocking, which is adding the key poses. These key poses are the important poses of the animation. They help because it's kind of like a blueprint that gives a sense of direction so we're not guessing on what to animate next. The last step will be called splining, now splining is basically letting the computer add or animate the in-between poses. Now we do not have to animate every single pose, which helps save time. I'm just going to show you the key poses that I'll be setting. Then I will show you what splining is. I will have 42 frames to animate this flower sack jumping off this cube. I want to show him basically getting ready to make his jump. So here he is in his standing pose. And then he will squash down and anticipate a jump and launch out into the air. He begins falling and smashes into the ground and bounces a couple of times and comes to a complete stop. Now after all the key poses are complete, I will open what is called a graph editor and I will select all the controls of this rig and now spline. And the computer will create the in-between poses. Now that I am done, let's review the animation. Okay, it looks pretty good. Hope you all enjoyed this quick process in how to animate.